Hey, Yon. I just can't believe it. Would someone really take your camera into the Maison Gestion itself and simply strut about taking pictures of everyone and anything? It is ridiculous. Everyone knows, everyone should know, that that is how secrets get leaked. It is common sense. Royalt? Royalt, I think. I think that's his name. I'm not butchering it. Um, if common sense was common, Mr. Yon, then the Maison Gestion could simply disband tomorrow. I shall leave this to you. Have him sign the document, just like I taught you, and return it to me before the weekend. I still have to handle the expense receipts. Carl Six keeps hassling me about it. But Mr. Royale, just who should I be looking for? We don't have an office specifically in charge of cameras. Uh, I trust your judgment. Now hurry up and take care of this, so we can eat each. <laughs> So we can each really enjoy your, the weekend. I'm going to take care of the other things. Hop to it, kid. Yes, sir, Mr. Royal. Royal lives in leisurely manner. Um, what are you doing? Huh? Uh, hello, hello. Uh, it looks though you are not a member of the staff here at the Maison Gestion. I am currently busy with official business. Should you have any inquiries, please ask Miss Cornelia. Uh, she's right over there. She will provide with a chair and a cup of tea. Please have a seat and I'll come find you after I'm done. What's a big rush? Uh, it's... It's actually a simple matter, but... Dealing with it is quite complicated. The office I work in has received a notice instructing us to draft a letter to the other offices. The content was something like, Staff are forbidden from bringing cameras into their maison gestion and taking pictures, except for work purposes, in order to avoid leakage of secret information. Uh, does telling me about the letter's contents constitute leaking secrets? No, certainly not. If anyone really had had, I mean, if anyone really had used a camera to take a photo of documents, and it resulted in a leak, then this would certainly be a confidential matter. However, um, maybe someone will use a camera to take a picture of documents in order to leak them is not a secret. After all, that's a possibility that everyone is aware of. I feel uh, dizzy. Think about it this way. If you are guarding a secret, then the secret you are guarding certainly cannot be revealed. But the fact that you are guarding a secret itself may not be considered a secret. After all, if even the fact that you are guarding a secret is considered a secret, then you will fall into an endless cycle of keeping the secret of keeping secrets. How is that? <laughs> I mean, I understand. But how is that even more simple to understand? To the common people. You... Your wording is an endless cycle. Uh, then, um, who is responsible for this? That is where this matter becomes uh, complicated, if you may say. There is no office in the entire Maison Gestion that is directly charged with managing cameras. Mr. Semen, which in English, um, Semen in English means Weech. So, I would say Mr. Weech, but yes, yeah, Mr. Semen says that I should ask Mr. Gatineo. Their work is related to confidential matters, and thus they should be the first to be made aware. But, but Mr. Royal says that I should ask the four. Uh, 
as he is in charge of all matters related to the staff of the Maison Gestion. Were we, were we to make a new rule that all staff of the Maison Gestion should not bring cameras to work, we'd have to let them know. Wow, that's complicated. Why are there so many different people responsible for different things? What happens if you can't remember? That's why each of us carries a thick notepad. Though, even with the notes, I'm still not sure who I should look for now. Uh, there's a lot of secrets involved, it seems. But... If it's a matter involving personnel, I think we should look for Defoe now. That's exactly what I thought, but he has quite the explosive temper, and though he's quite reliable, his sharp tongue is sure to leave a mark. <sighs> but you must be informed of this matter as soon as possible. Well, I guess you'll get to see for yourselves. Please, this way. Yon, let me guess. Bad news. Sir, you are correct. It is not good news. To be precise, it is, uh, secret news. Yes, so it is. Mm, very funny, Yon. So, what is the secret news? That explains the situation in detail. That is true. Something like this could easily happen. After all, most of the staff here at the Maison Gestion aren't very sensitive to how confidential different documents are. <coughs> um, did nobody uh, tell them about security classification system? It's all thanks to Gatineau and his people. All the documents here have to be reviewed by them. They decide the security classification of the document and stamp it. Sounds like a good system, right? The folks in charge of reviewing the documents came up with a truly ingenious way to save time. To stamp secrets on every single blasted document that comes their way. Last week, Charles went to the Opera Epicles for a speech and talked about recent performance performances. I remember, it wasn't a long speech, and lots of people were there. The text of his speech was even in newspapers. Since the speech was given in front of everyone, and everyone knows it all already, how does something everyone knows to be secret? But no. Even so, Gatineau still just has it classified as secret. Uh, maybe there was some important information inside it? <coughs> as if. Well, I definitely know someone who says as if in Kingdom Hearts. Zigbar. Let's make a bit more sense right now. Um, as if he classified the draft that was released to the public as secret, but didn't bother with any of the previous versions. Tarsis writes his own speeches. The entire text of every draft is written for him by someone else. The only changes he makes to the entire speech or to sign his name and change a few relevant adjectives. And all those older documents that they didn't edit? Of course they're lying on Tross's deck. Nobody cares. If Gatineau actually cared one Yota about protecting secrets, why doesn't he classify those as secret too? Mm, this could be another way of protecting secrets? Oh, come on. They just want to save time. 
I've got to know, the best way to protect secrets is to make absolutely every trivial, trivial little thing a secret. That way, nobody knows that what the actual secrets that need protecting are. Not even them. If you want to hide a glass of water, the best way is to dump it in a lake. Great plan. Nothing can ever go wrong. And if you want to hide a glass of Fanta, are you going to turn this whole lake into a lake of Fanta? A lake of Fanta? <laughs> Paimon wants to go swim in it. Fanta's really tasty, right, little? Uh, Paimon, that's not the point. So, so, uh, the establishment? Yawn. This matter does not concern, does concern personnel. So you've come to the right person. Before we can begin officially begin our, before, before we can begin officially begin our work, we must know it if it's a glass of water or a glass of Fanta we're hiding. But first, we must let Gatineau ascertain the security classification. Just like I said before, as we are already old colleagues, I won't cause any trouble for you. Our office will absolutely support and assist with this matter. Diff will slowly loads over the file and basically scrolls. And over the documents. Very well. Now go find Gatineau. This will affect all the staff, so I must go and inform the relevant people in advance. But, Mr. Defoe, Defoe waltz off without looking back. Um, it seems like he positively fled. <sighs> That's Mr. Defoe for you. Quick to anger, but quite clever. Nothing we can do now but look for Jotty now. This way, please. Talk to Gatineo. And where is... Oh. Okay. Uh, Gatineo? Hmm? Yawn. To think I'd meet you here, you little rascal. Uh, Mr. Gatineo, I was just looking for you. There's something you should know. What is it? I just finished reading today's Team Bird and the Maison Gestion wasn't mentioned. Yes, this is a secret matter. Oh, now that's a rare sight. Someone besides a journalist who can tell if something is secret or not. Yon displays the situation in detail. <sighs> it appears our D4 is an exceptionally diligent journalist. It's almost as if he charged into my office, demanding to know the security classification of this document. I completely concur with his opinion. This matter certainly must be reviewed and classified first. But the matter of camera security leads is quite large, and concerns the entire maison gestion. My office alone did not ascertain the confidentiality. I must go to the other offices first, and allow them to review it. And once they are all familiar with the matter, we then can proceed. For example, Charles Six. Huh? But this order came down from Mr. Charles Six. Then it is even more imperative that he be aware of how we are dealing with it. Come on, lad. Let's go find Royal Ten and meet with Charles Six. Huh? Wait. Mr. Gatineau. Talk to Royalt. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a confidential matter. As such, it falls under the office's, your office's just jurisdiction, right? Well, in that case, we can keep affairs we handle confidential from you in the future, even on personnel related. Info matters, right? Hey, those are two different things. Quit shifting the goalposts. Well, it's certainly not up to us to decide whether or not they're the same thing. It looks like uh, I've messed things up again. Uh, 
They are doing. Emil, how... How about we get out of here? Adult Soldier is Jerry. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. There's no need to be upset with such a trifling matter. This is no trifling matter, Royals. This is a matter of grave importance that impacts the entire Maison Gestion. I did not act rashly and decided on my own. So it is. There is nothing trivial at all about protecting our secrets. I don't think there is anyone in the whole Maison Gestion more suited to handle handling this matter than you. Please, relax. Why must you gentlemen argue about who is in charge? As I see it, there's no need for anyone to be primarily responsible. We don't even need to coordinate. What? Huh? I fear I do not understand your meaning, Rayout. I don't quite follow your train of thought, Rayout. You two are both gentlemen with a wealth of experience. I know that when dealing with something complicated, we must first divide it into simple things. The responsibility of preventing people from leaking secrets using cameras should logically fall to Gatineau. But you need not do anything extra. Just continue catching leeches as before. As for informing everyone of the policy that cameras can't be brought into Maison Gestion, this trouble task must fall for D4. Or die for. I don't know. Nobody else in the Maison Gestion can clarify the new policy to the staff. Uh, we have no capability to enforce it. Nobody listens to us. <sighs> you don't need to worry about that. Leave enforcement to Dattineau. What you need to do is not notify, but propose. Propose? The bigger you print, the big okay. The bigger you print the proposal, the better. Put it at the entrance, and be sure to print the case of the last camera leak below it. That should be enough. The sounds. I think, I think there was a typo. I think it is supposed to say this. This sounds exactly like before. How is this different from before? I... I don't understand, Mr. Royal. This way... I agree with you. I agree with this proposal. Excellent. It's very clean and clear. But what? Proposal? <laughs> That's easy. Then we have reached the core. After Yon rewrites the, the draft, after Yon rewrites the draft, I'll bring it to both of you to look over. Now, let's each get back to work. Just you know, and default chat in Chamber Foreman, and then turn and leap. Uh, I am very sorry, Mr. Royal. I really messed this up. Don't blame yourself, Yon. It's not your fault. At least, not completely. Why did this suddenly accept your idea? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's right. Why did it suddenly stop arguing? Arguing? They looked like they were about to start a brawl. That's because you don't know what those two gentlemen truly care about. Do you think they simply didn't want to take an extra on extra work? Of course not. They simply didn't want any other officers to get involved with their work, especially when they themselves would be held responsible. <clears throat> as long as you understand this, it's easy to remove the source of their discontent. And then, they are quite willing to do the work. <coughs> wow. But your proposal will still have to take responsibility. Gatineau and Defour 
are both experienced bureaucrats, and they are both painfully aware of some simple truth. In a large organization such as, such as the Maison Gestion, everyone has to take some responsibility. That's the only way to make sure everything can continue to operate smoothly. You can negotiate the size of the responsibility, but everyone must take part. If everyone refuses to do so, well, then they had best pray they never run into any trouble. Don't think too much of it, Yon. You will come to understand it all this someday. Right now, the important thing is to go rewrite the proposal and bring it to me. Got it? Yes, Mr. Royal. Royal lives in a hurry. Eh. <sighs> Looks like you have a little nighter. Guess I should grab a coffee first. Your health is important too. <clears throat> I know that, but forget it. No buts. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if there's a point to all this work I do. I type, produce documents, chat, and run errands, day in, day out. As an objective observer, Lemol, what are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, I'm not so sure just yet. Fine. Perhaps you can give me an answer after you've observed a bit more. If you're interested, come here tomorrow. We can talk again then. As a gestionnaire here at the Maison Gestion, I've been drowning in a sea of work. Perhaps you could tell me, as an objective observer, what's the point of it all? The purpose of work? I don't think that's a pretty complicated question. And Jan seems under a lot of pressure too. How about we check on him again tomorrow, Lil? I hope he doesn't burn out from all of his work. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I hope, I hope he doesn't overwork himself to, to death. It'd be too bad. Cheer up, Yon. You didn't handle it. I definitely got this. Yeah, he's definitely got it. Talk to Yon. Ah, Traveler, it's nice to see you. Uh, how are you doing? You have bags under your eyes, and it seems like you can barely speak. You should take a break. I... I can't rest. I stayed up all night last night writing drafts, but none were good enough. Time for yet another rewrite. If you have any official business you require my assistance with, Please wait a moment. You can pull up a chair near Mr. Royal. Perhaps he even has coffee. I... I must get back to writing. <clears throat> ah! No. Using to my dear colleagues is certainly not formal enough. Wow. Okay. Talk to Royal. Where is he? Oh my god. Oh! There's some men here. I think it was mentioned in the first part. Traveler, glad to see you've come back for another visit. Coffee? Uh, why were none of you surprised to see me here before? Yeah, Paimon wanted to ask too, but... But those guys were so loud and Paimon didn't dare talk about anything else. And I thought I was going to be kicked out. <laughs> why? <laughs> No need to worry. The gods let you in, so why would we take it upon ourselves to chase you out? This is also an example of clear delegation of authority and responsibility. Hello, traveler. I am Semen. It is a pleasure to meet you. Uh... Hello? Semen used to work in the courts of an assistant secretary. Due to some rather messy circumstances. He was transferred back to the Maison Gestion. 
Using his logical and precise deductions, we were able to find solutions to many previously intractable problems. Please, that's a bit too much. I merely transferred over my previous work experience, and used the value of certain things to infer the importance of matters related to them. Though in practice, countless matters though, that cannot be precisely measured will crop up the course of work. In the course of work, <clears throat> but in these cases, applying Royal's well-developed axioms of human interactions is of great assistance. And that means what now? Put simply, when dealing with work, some man is quite skilled in considering all sides and their state and makes everyone feel like they're important. It's like balancing scales. And if the balancing act is simply impossible, then I can tip the scales with a weight of words. Uh, Jan sure seems to be working hard. Can you help him? Yeah, it seems like he's about to pass out. <coughs> That is a path that all must walk, sooner or later. Should I help Yon write the document, he will not remember this lesson. His head and heart are filled with this idealistic fantasies about what virgin a maison gestion is. But fantasies are for the young, not for gestionnaires. And I simply don't know how to write those documents. <laughs> Well, you're quite direct. Alright. So what business brings you here? Tell me and I'll see if I can... Yon suddenly runs over in a panic. Who? Alas! All is doom and ruin. Mr. Royalt, do you have spare key caps for the typewriter? As I was typing, I suddenly discovered that the key cap was missing. I have no idea when it could have... Did you already have a look nearby? Maybe it just fell off onto the ground. Or maybe it's stuck in butch. Or a sandwich between documents. Did you already check these possibilities? Or in, maybe it's in a pen holder? Or in a sleeve? Or your hair? Or in a teacup? Why, why your hair though? <laughs> I've looked everywhere. Even in my pockets and my shoe bottoms, I searched all over, and it's nowhere to be found. There we will. And you should go ask Tronelia. If we do have spares for things like tea caps, and she's the one you need to follow requests with, I should just go buy one myself. It shouldn't take a stell long at all to make a tea cap. My dear Jan. Do you really want to spend your own money? The typewriter and its key caps are public property and the property of the Maison Gestion. Filing an application with Cornelia is the proper procedure. It doesn't... it really doesn't cost much at all. This is not a matter of how much. This is another matter of authority and responsibility. Repairing the public property of the Maison Gestion should be paid for by the public accounts of the Maison Gestion. If you pay for this with your private funds, and do not file a claim for reimbursement, then when expenses are audited at the end of the year, it will be unclear where the money came from. Fine, fine. I'll go find Janelia right now. Even buying something is such a pain. Is even paying for things this annoying? This is actually quite normal around here. Please, this way. Let's go find Tronelia. <clears throat> okay, right. Uh, let's see if they have something else to say. A key chap for a writer. For... A key chap for a typewriter. Hey, Semen. Can you even expense things like that? I am a leader, but if typewriters can be dispensed, then it follows that the cheat out so the cheese can be reimbursed as well. Alright. 
Hey, uh, Tremelia. Uh, do you know how can we get the teach app for the typewriter? Hello, Mr. Yon. May I help you? And hello to you too, Miss Trelania. And hello to you too, Miss Tronelia. Uh, do we have any spare key chats for a typewriter? Excuse me? Uh, my typewriter is missing a key chap, so I would like to apply for a replacement. If there isn't one in stock, it would also work if you could reimburse the purchase of a new one. Expensing a key chap. That shouldn't be a problem, in principle. Sign your name here, please. Just write requesting reimbursement for a replacement T-Chap due to typewriter malfunction, and then sign your name and office. Just write what now? <laughs> I'm going to say it again one more time. Please listen carefully. Requesting reimbursement for replacement keycap due to typewriter malfunction. Of course, you may sign your name in office. Is that clear? Uh, very well. I can get the keycap today, right? I really need to get back to work. Mr. Yon, have you ever applied for reimbursement for the purchase of public property before? Being reimbursed for reimbursed for Work expenses is not at all like you imagine. You don't simply buy something and reimburse it. We need to compile all the reimbursement receipts and documents on a monthly basis, create summary reports, and then submit everything to the Maison Cardinalis Cardinalis for approval and at the end of the month. This approval process is related to the approval and payment of salaries for the entire Maison Gestion. If the amount of expense is too late, then the Maison Gestion... And the Maison Jardinalis will even need to submit it to Monsieur Nouvellet himself for approval. Payments can only be officially sent after the review is complete and everything is signed. Poor dude. He's struggling that much? If he has any questions about a certain expense report, the staff member in question must submit a written report. We are just preparing to submit our first batch of reports, which we shall do sometime in the next few days. Next few days? You mean, if I'm unfortunate enough, then I might require Mr. Nivellet himself? to sign off on that T-Chap reimbursement. Such are the rules, Mr. Yon. And since the total expenses for this month are large indeed, he may very well be required to audit reports. Monsieur Nouvellet? Wait, isn't that your Chief Justice? Paimon, where have you been? For the past couple months. It's just a chap. It's just a T-Chap. And we're making him sign for it? just doesn't feel right. Uh, is there some other way? I think so too. After all, it's only a tea chap. We don't trouble him with it. That is true. There are other ways. Yes. You could go buy your tea cap yourself first. Then I can provide you an official acknowledgement of debt in the public accounts. After all, the reimbursements have been processed and the payment process completed, the amounts owed will be paid to you directly from the public purse. Excellent! Well, let's do that. After all, our chap doesn't cost much. I can pay for it. Then please sign here, and you should still... <laughs> then please sign here, and you should still write, as I said before, Requesting reimbursement for replacement T chap due to typewriter malfunction. Are you going to purchase a replacement for Mrs. Dell? Yes, indeed. Is anything wrong? Then I will take the. Then I will take the IOU 
to um, Mr. Royal for him to sign. Then take it to Mrs. Stell to verify the purchase amount. But you don't need to worry about that. Just hurry and buy your keycap. I'll take care of the rest. Thank you so much. You really are the best, Mr. L Thank you so much. You really are the best, Mr. Nelia. I'll do it and buy it right now. Come on, traveler. It's time to leave. Since when? Since when I had to do all the things with you? But a certain trifle. Alright. Oh, Estelle. Okay. Um. Uh, yo, Estelle. Uh, how are you? Uh, my friend Yon. Oh, who is, uh. Um. <clears throat> who is a ghost? Uh, you don't see him, but I'm sh I'm positive that he is here next to me. Uh, needs you to uh, create a keychap for his typewriter. Can you do it? Yawn. What is it? You seem to be out of breath. Estelle, please. I need a keychap for a typewriter. Y you should have something here, right? Of course, but typewriters have so many different keys. Take a look and see which one you need the keycap for. Yon starts to rush around searching for the keycap and at lightning speed. This one. This is it. Here's the money. Thank you, Estelle. The last time, you said you'd like to go boating with me. The last time, you said you'd like to go boating with me. Yon! Hey, Yon! Time private key cap. Estelle? What's he so busy with anyway? <sighs> he really is. Passionate about his work? Uh, frustrating? Uh, a numbstrel? Uh, a ghost? I don't know. Anyways, uh, see ya. Let me, let me read what that says. And it's in the quest items. Uh, here. Typewriter keychap. A newly purchased keychap. Though it does not quite fit in with its counterparts already on the typewriter. Well, let's just make do for now. Great! Now I can finally continue working. This proposal must be finished today. Thank you so much. When I have time, I will certainly treat you to an excellent meal. Are you free tomorrow? Shall find me here if you've got the time. Uh, wait for me to finish work. Now we can all go eat a tasty meal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh... Finish your work first, Jan. I'll be waiting. You're right. I must work faster. Wait, what's the next sentence? I should have written everything down. Okay. Uh, wait until the full morning again. <laughs> okay. Let's wait a sec. And there we go. Talk to Jan. John, are you, are you done writing? John, hmm. huh? What? Yes, yes, I, I finished. I finished writing. It's me. Did you finish writing? Oh, it's you. I, I must have fallen asleep. Sorry. Mr. Royale and Mr. Semen stayed with me half the night. With their guidance, I finally managed to finish the proposal. Then I, I was just too tired. I thought I'd just close my eyes for a bit. I never fell asleep until now. I need to go find Mr. Talis first and have him stamp this proposal with uh, the official seal of the Maison Gestion. And then take the proposal to Mr. Defour for a stamp. And then we can begin officially printing it. And then we'll be done with this. Uh, at least it's not as complicated as before. Yeah, in any case, 
I, I've heard that Mr. Tellis has introduced a brand new type of machine for fixing stamps. They say that it's convenient and made with confidentiality in mind, and that they plan to use it throughout the entire Maison Gestion. Take a look. Mr. Royal even gave me a key. Every department must, must use this key to activate the stamping machine. Anyway, it all sounds pretty formal and official. Why don't you take another nap? Looks like you can barely walk straight. Anyway, it's just getting the document stamped. And there's that. Uh, stamping machine to do it. No need to rush. No, I cannot afford any more delays. Let us go right away, like you said. It's only a stamp. Shouldn't take too much time. I don't know. Seeing that you're tired and all. I, um... Feel like, uh... It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be complicated. Talis, uh, can I get the document's tent now? Yes, of course you can. Uh, did you bring the key? And please, sign here too. I thought we wouldn't need to sign now that we got the machine. Well, uh, about that. The machine must still be operated by someone, so you still have to sign in, don't you? It's a guarantee. But this machine is perfect for maintaining secrecy. Without a key, even I can't start it up. But the document's there. And the document's there. But put the documents there and make sure they are properly aligned. And set the key into the keyhole. It, is this that automatic stamping machine? It's really ordinary. Like this. And just turn the key. Wait a second. Just hold that pose. Don't move. I'll take a picture. Uh, why, why, why do you want to take a photo? When we first deployed these machines, Mr. Trasix specifically specified that we must use a camera which record of everyone that made came to get documents stamped. I need to move. I can't have this document in the frame. Recently, someone said that there's going to be a new document promulgated here at the Maison Gestion that specifically addresses secrets leaked through cameras. I don't want to be the first one to be made an example of. Emil, let's go it outside. If we're in a photo of it, maybe we'll get sucked into some kind of baloney involving the secrets. Dales cheerfully takes a picture. Okay, I've taken the photo. Please start up the machine. I turned the key already. Why isn't it responding? That's impossible. I just repaired it. It can't be broken again already. Again? Tell this begins to inspect the machine. That's odd. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, reinsert the key and try again? Okay. Uh, here goes. Yon takes out the key, but pushes it to bed and machine. Still broken. It's not working. Tell us, fix or something. Maybe you didn't line the document properly. You need to fit the document to, to the margins. They are a hidden trigger mechanism inside. Does the document have anything to do with the machine not starting? Of course it does. Otherwise, how should the machine know there are documents waiting to be stamped? This is an automatic machine. After all, I'm not operating it manually. Oh, for the love of... Fine, fine. I'll make sure it's properly aligned with all the margins. Yon takes out the margin and places the <laughs> still, still sits here. It's no good. It still isn't working. How could this be? The last time I gave it a little smash and then started working properly again. Uh, then I'll give it a watch. It appears we have no choice but to try it. 
We're getting close to the point where we resort to prayer to try to fix it. <laughs> That's true. We can still pray, can't we? Lightly tap the machine. Auto Stamper 3000. The machine replies to you with complete silence. Uh, put a bit more oomph into this tap. The machine seems like it's too lazy to even care about your efforts. Smack it so hard. <laughs> Smack it so hard that its later iterations will fill it. The machine breaks its silence and lets out a rusty, annoyed sound as though a very sleepy person just fell out of bed. Wow! What's that sound? Don't tell Pyma the machine completely broke down. And then, as if the machine sleepily found its slippers and stumbled over to turn on the light, it begins to operate with a whir and a clunch. Whir, the clutch, yeah. It, it's finally working! The auto's temper is well worn, but it works, but it works slowly and methodically, with several people on the brink of despair chasing at it intently, the machine slowly drops the stamp downward with all the speed of an, elder <laughs> of an elderly dead tortoise climbing the cliff. The stamp, having taken its first step onto the paper, seems to stagger around the document before mendering slowly about and finally settling down to rest. Finally, the machine shivers and shudders and begins to slowly retract the stamp. <laughs> I told you, it would work. I truly don't understand just what's so great about this machine. It's called automatic, but it's far slower than just doing it by hand. But it is perfect for maintaining confidentiality and secrecy. Look around. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't take the stamp out and use it for our own private purposes without permission. Don't act so smug. What if the machine completely breaks down, and Mr. Cossacks isn't here either? What then? Hmm, well, it'll still be okay. I have a backup key. To open up this machine? No, to open up a box in Mr. Cossacks' office. There's a backup stamp in there. Traveler, let's hurry up. We must bind and staple documents which can deliver to Mr. DeFour. Mr. DeFour. I can't wait to be free from this nightmare. Yeah, well, uh, tell us, uh, do you have to say something about this uh, automated machine? This machine, sorry, sh uh, this machine sure is hard to use. Huh. Okay, you have all the stamps, the document has been bound and stapled, and all that's left is to give it to Mr. Defour and we'll finally be done. Uh oh, oh, oh. Today, I'm trying to get a good night's sleep and forget about all of this. Then I'll take a day off and go find Estelle. Are you... Are you, um... By any chance, um, in re in relationship with her or something, Mister Yon, do you have a moment? Yes. What is it? No way did the uh, reinforcement get approved so quickly. That it did not. But Monsieur Nivellet sent someone to me, and had me come ask you, why are you expensing a single keycap and not an entire typewriter? Because, well, because a single keycap fell off, that's all. Why would I need to expense an entire new typewriter? No, that does make sense. Perhaps, but our list of items eligible for reimbursement includes typewriters, not individual keycaps. As such, keycaps are a brand new payment item. Therefore, you must submit a written document to Monsieur Nivellet and explain in detail why you are expensing that single keycap. 
why does it feel like some kind of bad joke and not actual job in business? Uh, yeah, that seems kind of ridiculous. So, you want me to... to write a separate report to the Chief Justice explaining how I lost a single T-Tap? The Maison Cardinale said that it was a request from Monsieur de Moulet himself. As if the Maison Cardinale says everything is a request from Monsieur de Moulet itself, himself. But no one dares test the waters and see if that's actually the truth. Come now, Jan. Calm down and listen to me. As a gestionnaire of the Maison Gestion, Orders from the Chief Justice are an imperative, carrying the full weight of the administration. Simply put, you have no choice but to write it. Not that it's a bad thing, you know. You can use this chance to show off your handwriting to him. Not everyone gets a chance to make the separate report to him. But I... Uh-oh. Hello, friend. Hello. Friends, good news. We just caught someone leaking the secrets with a camera red-handed. A sterling example of negative behavior that we shall conclude in the purse in the past. Oh, wait, wait. A sterling example of negative behavior that we shall conclude in the proposal. And as for this criminal who knew the law yet knowingly violated it. It is in fact the very person who reminded everyone not to use cameras lest they expose secrets. Mr. Carsix. Him? It's because of him that Jan was up all night writing the proposal? And now he's being caught breaking the rules first no less? He used the camera to take multiple photos of his office, and then distributed them to reporters. One of the photos included his own minutes from meetings, and the public has now discovered the contents of the minutes, minutes that are widely different from what he said in the pre previous speeches. Rumors uh, are swirling like mad, and it appears that Mr. Contes' office is about to become the biggest joke in Fontaine again. Wait a minute. What do the minutes have to... What do the minutes have to do with the, with, do with the speech? Almost all of the contents of the speech were agreed upon in the meetings recorded by those minutes. Of course, they're related. So why are they so different? Oh, uh, that's actually quite normal. The purpose of the meetings and the minutes is to tell us exactly what content could not appear in the speech. Cossets himself hasn't got the foggiest notion of what he's going to say. What's what he's going to say? and doesn't even have his own ideas. He is completely reliant on being reminded by his subordinates. Wait, so where is Mr. Cossets now? He is awaiting an investigation in my office. After all, not only did he delete secret documents, but he also caused quite a storm in the city. I think he may have to stay in there a while. But what about my document? I finished writing it. It's all stamped up and ready, and I... And I... <coughs> hey now, so Jay, you wrote it. It'll get sent out eventually. Please relax, there's always a way. Yon, Yon, are you there? Mr. Cement, you're finally here. Please, help me think of something. Don't talk about that now. Your chi chap, have you already expensed it? You think? I even have to write a report to Monsieur de Villette himself about it. Oh, drat. Take a look, is this that chi chap? You. Where did you find it? It was under my desk. Just as the cleaning staff was sweeping, I accidentally swept it over, so one saw it and put it on my desk. I thought it was a cheat chat from my own typewriter at first, so I put it away. But today, I took a look and... I realized my typewriter wasn't missing a single cheat chat, so... 
this nightmare. When will it end? Emil, what really is the meaning behind my work? Jan falls to the ground in a faint. Jan! Jan! Jan is rushed to the doctor. Ah, this is all my fault. If only I'd found the cheat chap earlier, things wouldn't have turned out like this. How is this issue about the cheat chap? How is this issue about the cheat chap? Hello! That's right, everything's a complete mess. Jan didn't even know what to do. Jatino and the four have also just vanished. What's going on with these guys anyway? Jan cares about the meaning of his work. <clears throat> that kid's always thinking about those sorts of things. The point of work. Such a drained topic can be easily explained in just a few words. You'll only hit more pressure on yourself by constantly worrying about such issues. Well, do you know the answer then? No, I've never even I never even considered it. I just work. As for me, while I do think about it now and then, I have my own way to deal with stress. If you really want to find the answer, perhaps we could find some time to talk more. But right now, I got to fight to buy some fruit and go see Yon. Now that's the main matter, and no mistake. I'm also going to go help you on apply for seat leave. He really needs to rest. Great. We each have our tasks. That's the way to get things done. You'll s we'll see you later then, Nemo. Huh? That's weird. Where did I put that seat leave from? These guys, I tell you. Is that it? Is that it? So let me let me let me let me see uh, this achievement. Witness Yon's work travails. A sudden squall. Constant over the centuries, but human life is like the